Hello, my name is Lisa Yates and I live in North Carolina and so I've looked into the process and the requirements for licensure in my state. Um, for the academic training requirements, a uh, master's degree is required and that should be 60 semester hours or 90 quarter hours. Uh, also, the coursework requirements are to cover the nine areas of study in counseling, which would be professional orientation to counseling, human growth and development, social cultural foundations, as well as group counseling, theories and processes, and uh, career counseling and lifestyle development. This also includes assessment, research, and program evaluation. There should be at least 300 hours of supervised experience and 17 hours of graduate counseling supervision. Uh, the supervisor in this case should be a licensed professional counselor with a current license. In North Carolina, the post-master's requirements um, are that your experience in your practice is supervised with a board approved clinical supervisor and that you have 2,000 hours of direct counseling as well as 100 of those hours as clinical supervision um, and that is 75 individual hours. The exams required in North Carolina, um, they require two. One is the national exam which is the National Clinical Health, Mental Health Counseling Exam and the um, jurisprudence exam. The jurisprudence exam is not is no fail and you receive a certificate of completion that you include with your uh, application. In our state we have the title of uh, for a licensed uh, counselor is the uh, licensed clinical mental health counselor uh, LCMHC and we have a three three tier system in our state so the first tier of that uh, is the associate, which is a licensed clinical mental health counselor associate. And that is a restricted license, allowing an individual just to be able to gain the experience under qualified supervision. The next level after that would be an unrestricted license, which would be your clinical mental health counselor. Um, the third tier is third level would be a, the same unrestricted license, but allowing a person to be in supervision capacity. So they're a licensed clinical mental health counselor supervisor um, and that they are able to not only count, uh, practice counseling but also provide clinical supervision. So in North Carolina, a um, licensed mental health counselor can offer services um, in the scope of counseling, appraisal activities, consulting, uh, and referral and research. Uh, the uh, Some other requirements that we have in the state are that the practicum should be, and the internship, should be supervised with, uh, in a regionally accredited uh, program of study. And those master's degrees should come from an institution that have uh, accreditation, regional accreditation, um, or are accredited by the Council for Higher Education Accreditation, which is CHEA, or KCREP, which is Council for Accreditation of Counseling and Related Educational Programs. And finally, the requirement of a criminal background check in that is a requirement for licensure in North Carolina. I don't know that I was that surprised by the requirements from everything I've been reading up till now, um, but I guess seeing the number 2,000 hours of direct counseling um, post masters, um, but it, it makes perfect sense um, that you have a couple of years under the supervision of a mentor, um, someone who's qualified to support you and supervise you and provide you with feedback, um, and that's really important. So um, while it's a big number, it made a lot of sense. So that was new, great new information. Thank you.